G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be reviewing a Wi-Fi FPV drone that I picked up from AliExpress for only $30 last month. This just arrived today, so I'm going to uh, show you quickly what we get in the actual case here. And also, we'll take it for a test flight, see how it flies, see what sort of flight time we get. And we'll see what the camera quality is like. Now this one is called the E88 Pro. I bought it from the KB DFA store, like I mentioned, for only 30 bucks last month. And I end up buying the three battery option. So let's open up the case here. And I'll show you what we get. There is the drone there, guys. As you can see, it's a Wi-Fi foldable drone. It looks pretty much like a copy of a Mavic Mini here. It has a dual camera, one on the front and also one on the bottom for optical flow. Uh, you can choose different types of uh, options. You can choose one, two, three batteries and also a 1080p uh, option as well. Just folds out just like so. Now, you gotta take the 4K on these toy drones with a grain of salt. Usually they're 1080p uh, cameras here or 720p. Um, what they mean by 4K is that in the app itself, it just does interpolated 4K photos. So what that means, they just blow up a 720p or 1080p image, okay? All toy grade drones are advertised as 4K these days, but I'm pretty sure this one would have like a 1080p camera here, okay? So it's a very lightweight drone, there's nothing to it. We've got the on and off switch up the top here, so we'll press that. With some nice LED lights all the way around on the front, on the back here, and even on the top. All right, so pretty neat looking uh, quadcopter here. Now you can get this in two color options. You can go for the black one like I have here or the gray model as well. And the camera here is adjustable just by hand. It's not electronically uh, controlled, all right? So very lightweight, like I mentioned, you don't have to register this in the USA is nowhere near uh, 250 grams this one i think maybe at the most 180 grams so we've got landing legs on the front here on the front arms like the mavic mini and on the back here we've just got these little tiny if you can see that those little tiny feet there to stick the landing okay now this drone does not have a uh, sd card on the bottom so it's just wi-fi capable only and you'll be recording all your videos and photos on the app, all right? So let's put that aside for a second. So we have two extra batteries here in a total of three batteries. One is in the drone. As you can see, I powered it on just a second ago. Now these are one cell, 3.7 volt, 1800 milliamp hour batteries. They do state between eight to 10 minutes per battery so with three these two and the one in the drone we should get close to half an hour's worth of flight time now these just charge up with the micro usb there so if you've got an android phone or android device uh, you could just multiple charge with different cables all these batteries at the same time now they do state they'll take about an hour hour and a half uh, once these batteries are fully discharged to charge up. Okay, guys. Now onto the transmitter. This is a very common transmitter with uh, toy grade quadcopters and drones. It looks like a DJI Mavic or Mavic Mini transmitter here. Uh, these antennas are fake. As you can see, they're just bits of plastic to simulate antennas. They don't have any wiring to them. The actual real antenna is uh, hot glued horizontally about here in the transmitter up the top. Okay, we've got some nice smooth gimbal sticks here we also have a series of arrow buttons here we have the automatic takeoff we have the automatic land and all these other buttons are your trimmer button so trim left trim right trim forward and back on and off switch just in the middle here on the back here we also have the battery tray it takes three AA batteries which i'll put in in a second now on the top of the uh, transmitter here we have a series of buttons as well we've got the speed switch there on the left so we've got three different speeds for this quadcopter we also have a headless mode button just there this button here is a gyro reset so you can reset the gyros on a flat level surface. It's a good idea to reset the gyros before you take your initial flight. And also if you happen to have a mishap like a crash, you just reset it again on a level uh, surface. And we've got our 360 flip button to do your little tricks, okay? And on the bottom here, we have the phone holder 
which just pulls out like that and you can fit a decent sized phone in there okay and all that's left in this case is some accessories here so we got our tree hanger prop guards which i never use and we also got two different uh, a and b props there and the actual usb charger cable as well as a phillips screwdriver and we also have these two bits of paperwork here we've got one for the app so you can download this with a qr code or just search rcfpv in the app store or google play as well as a quick start guide here okay it's in uh, english and chinese you just fold it out and it's got all the information you need to know about the drone it's double-sided okay all the controls so everything you need to know is in this instruction booklet okay and uh, that's about it guys so uh let's uh take this drone out and i'll hook it up to the wi-fi app the rc fpv app and we'll take it for a flight test we'll see exactly how it flies for the 30 dollars that i paid for it or around 20 us with a three battery combo and uh, i've got a feeling this one is a bargain for beginner flyers i actually wish i had this type of drone when i first started the hobby back in late 2015 i paid a lot more than this for a drone with absolutely zero features or options all right this also does have altitude hold as well guys okay so let's uh, go out there and take for a flight G'day guys, well I'm out here with the E88 Pro quadcopter here, the one that I picked up off AliExpress and uh, we're going to take it for a quick test flight out at this field today, I'm at a different location, haven't been here for a while so I thought I'll come down here, there's no one on this field so it's a perfect day to test this one out. Now before I start flying it I'd like to just tell you that I had some issues with the RC FPV app on two different android phones okay the phone that i got on me right now had the same issue as another android phone that i tried out when i was at home basically um, i think this app is better suited probably for iphones on the ios system now what i did find the issues were with the android app on two of my phones is that it does connect to your phone uh, with no issue but once you try to take a recording of the of the camera footage it just boots you out straight away and also i noticed when i used a screen recorder it booted boot me out straight away but what i did uh just before starting this video is that i did connect to the app and i was able to take some photos so i'll put those photos up on the screen right now and you can check out the quality of the camera now the quality of the camera it is a cheap camera of course it's like a pinhole camera here that's the type of quality you're going to get uh, in your video as you'd see in these photos. So anyway, I'm going to just take it for a flight. I'm not going to bother with the app today, uh, mainly due to those issues. I think this might be a uh, issue just with the Android phones only. I think you probably have better luck with the um, iOS version, okay? That just sometimes happens with these uh, particular Wi-Fi apps. They might work great on a iOS and not that good on Android, which I experienced here today. Now, before I take it for a flight, I'm going to do the gyroscope reset, which is this button here. Okay, you see it flash. All right, and we'll do it again, just to show you again. The lights flash, and it's calibrated. All right, guys, so let's take it for a flight. All right, guys, so yeah, I just think the issue might be just on the Android system. You probably have better luck on the iOS. All right, guys, so let's take it for a flight. I'm going to use the takeoff button. All right. Doesn't seem like it really needs much trimming. There is a tiny little bit of wind. This is in first rate. Nice and smooth little quadcopter here. Okay, and we've also got that optical flow sensor on the bottom as well. Let me bump it up into rate two. Now, because I'm not using the, the app, because it runs on 2.4 gigahertz, uh, I'm going to get better control not using the app. And uh, if 
you're new to flying drones, I suggest you don't use the app at first because you may have flyaway issues. Plus, you want to concentrate on how to fly the drone rather than looking down at your Android phone or iOS. You want to concentrate on orientation and flying. So we're in third rate. We'll get you a flight time. I'll just keep flying it until it uh, no longer wants to stay in the air. Nice bright LED lights there. Wind is picking up a little bit. It is a very lightweight drone. So it's not something that you want to fly in high winds, that's for sure. You just get taken away on you. There we go. <laughs> Bit of a flyby. So let's try some of the uh, flips here. Okay, so I try to front flip then. And it done a roll. Okay, so I think this one might just have rolls and no front or back flips. Let me try that again. Just go into the wind there. Yeah, it only has left and right roll this one. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in third ray and it's sort of struggling a little bit because the wind's picked up now. Like I said just a second ago, you just want to fly this on a pretty calm day. If I let go of the stick, I'll go forward a bit. I'll let go of the stick now. That is the speed of the wind, guys. See that? But in third rate, it's fighting it pretty well. It can hold its own. If I put it in rate one, I think it might struggle a bit. It's just holding it in rate one. Rate two, you can see I've got a bit of pitch there. So go back into third rate. Now, it flies really nicely, guys. So, you know, if you haven't flown a drone before, I think this is going to be a pretty good deal for you because you're going to have three batteries. It's foldable, portable. It's got its own case. And this one was only around 30 bucks from AliExpress. You've got dual cameras. And, you know, if you can get it, the app working, possibly I'm thinking on an iOS system, it might work fine. If you've got an Apple iPhone, you know, you're going to have a lot of features within that app. Different flight modes, editing software as well. You can add music and all that sort of thing. Gesture, photo and video, trajectory, flight, and you can actually fly it with your phone. But unfortunately, guys, I uh, couldn't show you any of the app features today because it just doesn't want to cooperate with any of my Android phones. Okay, it looks like we've got some flashing lights now, as you can see. I'll just show you that on camera. <laughs> the wind's taking it. Whoa. You hopefully see that. Flashing lights now, so that's LVC warning. So we'll see how much longer it can fly. Pretty sure these are eight, 1800 milliamp hour batteries. I would have mentioned the uh, claimed flight time earlier in the overview. I can't remember at the moment what I said. It could have been 10 minutes maybe. But uh, I'll definitely put the flight time up on the screen once it does land. This is the very first cycle of this battery though. So looks like it's trying to land. I'm just keeping it up in the air with a throttle. Won't be able to do any flips or anything like that anymore. But it's a nice flyer, that's for sure. Okay, we've got fla fast flashing lights now. Got the throttle all the way up and it wants to land. And it cut out. So that's the, that is the flight time. 
out of this little quadcopter, the E88 Pro. Not too bad. Um, I, I'm thinking maybe we got seven to eight minutes out of that battery. Like I said, this is the very first uh, flight on this battery, so it is a brand new battery. Um, each time you give it some more recharge cycles and fly on the batteries, uh, especially these LiPos, they do tend to get to their peak uh, duration of time after a few different cycles. So um, it's possible you probably get up to a minute more uh, the more you fly this drone. So you get three batteries, like I said, which is a pretty good deal for the price that it's going for that I picked it up for on AliExpress. So anyway, guys, I think it's a pretty neat little uh, beginner's quadcopter that doesn't break the bank. You know, like, like I said, and you can see in the overview, you get a whole bunch of extras. Mainly the extra batteries are a bonus. Uh, you can buy this in one, two, three uh, battery combos, but I suggest just spend a couple of extra dollars more and get the three battery option. All right, guys? So uh, there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick video and review on the E88 Pro. I picked up from AliExpress. If you're interested in this one, I'll leave a link in the description below. Overall, I think it's a pretty decent little quadcopter for those that want to just try out flying a drone for the first time, uh, just to see if you like the hobby. So uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next video. Hope everyone had a great new year, and I'll catch you on the next one.